Detroit of the violence that we're having every day. Newsworthy or not, we have people pretending to be police officers, decking out their cars, pulling people over, and then robbing them. Well, this has got to stop. It's not the first time that this has happened in Detroit. We had people pulling women over and pretending and raping them. If you come to this situation, you're very unsure that this is a police officer. We've been told that we should go to a local police officer's uh, precinct and drive to it if it's close by, if you're afraid that someone's not real. If you do stop over and pull over by the roadside or the street, try to be in a public place and a lit place if it's at night. Second of all, do not open your doors. A police officer will be only interested in your driver's license, registration, and insurance on the car, which you can crack the window and slip it out. If you're not sure at that point, again, uh, you may leave the scene and go, well, it's not like leave the scene, but if there's, the suit doesn't look right, the officer doesn't have on a badge, he doesn't present himself as an officer, because they, you know, the only reason they would like you to get out of a car is if they believe you've been drinking. That's one reason they would ask you to come out of the car to be tested, to make sure you're not drunk. But on other cases, you have to be careful. Uh, as I said, this is not the first time that we've had it. And uh, they caught uh, just yesterday two pretending to be officers and two more uh, hiding out in one of the uh, houses on the east side of Detroit. Well, this becomes very dangerous. Uh, and what is the police department going to do to step up and to protect the citizens from fake police officers? Uh, how are we educated? How do the kids know basically when there is a real police officer or not? And again, we have to rely on the uniforms, uh, the way they dress and the way they speak, and the equipment that they're wearing. Uh, that is clearly identified with a patch on the uniform that states that they are police. It's usually identified with a hat that they wear. And usually the utility belts and things that they wear is the equipment for a police officer. But again, if you're not sure, you must protect your family and yourself. And you say, well, who's responsible for these, this, the police action? Again, we have to look and see, uh, because now we're, we're getting into a new phase with the new charter, that we're going to have police commissioners elected by the people. That means that it can be someone that we talk to and know and someone that we will be familiar with. And we can take our problems to the police department. You say, well, I have problems uh, with the police department. Well, we have departments set up for uh, citizens' complaints and to be investigated by the police department. And you can make any complaint at any district office that, uh, station that we have and they will investigate anything that you need. But again, safety is the factor here. If you're not sure, protect you and your family. And this is what we're looking to do to improve our city and improve our state and our local government and the politicians that are in office. If you're not satisfied with something, we can vote it in and out. If we can't vote them in and out, at least we can come and have 
complaints and those complaints are usually answered by someone. It may take a little time but it works. So again, we have to be very careful with our families and our surroundings to be safe.